what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For those who's new and have never met me or have no idea who I am, I suggest you move on to your next video. Unless you want to find out how uh, weird and cool I am at the same time. I'm just kidding. But this video is more for my uh, fellow plant tubers, uh, subscribers, and those of you who's been following my houseplant journey for a while. Uh, today's video, we are going to play a couple of games that's been going around the uh, plant tuber community. Uh, first one is Never Have I Ever. Uh, originally started with um, by a girl with a garden and uh, I was tagged by Sharina and uh, Betsy Begonia who are two of my favorite uh, plant tubers out there as well and uh, a few others have also done this game uh, Nick, she has leaves, uh, the plant BBs and uh, I think Adam uh, not they just recently did this as well uh, so um, I'm gonna be you know starting with that game I'm gonna answer maybe about 10 of the 20 questions only because I did do this on my uh, YouTube stories a couple weeks ago when I first got tagged and I also want to be able to uh, save some time for the other game we're going to play which is going around a small group of new and upcomer plant tubers who has also you know watched my videos in the past and uh, you know I obviously just want to a play this game but also you know give them all the shout out because I think it's really cool that the plant community is growing um, you know when I first started about over two years ago Obviously, we know Summer Rain Oaks, Queen, and you know Kevin from Epic Gardening. They really kind of set uh, you know the the path for us to to really uh, you know create a lot of plant content out there and uh, you know uh, expand the interest of people and. When I first joined, there, you know, it was still a very, a very small community. I know Nick also launched his channel around that time, Harley G, uh, Steph Hall, uh, Carmen, and uh, you know, it was pretty cool uh, to to watch a few, you know, plant content creators, uh, you know, uh, help grow the the uh, community through YouTube and Instagram and so on. And um, you know, a year in, we get, we get to see you know uh, Sharina, you know, come in and Betsy and Adam from Not Nude and Lasia's and uh, you know Kaylee Ellen also was around the same time where uh, Harley and Nick was. And in the last year, I noticed a lot more content creators come in, and I think it's pretty cool. So this game was uh, started by Jess Myra, and the only reason I found out about it is because I actually watch uh, Rosie's Greenery um, video because I like to see she's from the Philippines and I'd like to see what kind of plants she has out there because uh, there's times where I, I kind of want to you know like sell everything and move back home to the Philippines and you know find a little nice place there have my indoor outdoor jungle great weather sun is shining but uh, maybe maybe a few years down the road that will be my, my dream in the meantime I'm living vicariously through her videos and watching what kind of plants she has so I definitely check her channel but she did this game truth or dare and I followed along to see uh, who started it, but it was from uh, content creator Jess Myra. Uh, and then, uh, so Rosie obviously did it. Uh, Adele from Lifeaholic did this. I think Slavana from Firefly in the Room. And a few other uh, uh, new plant tubers have, have been doing this, but uh, it's cool. Like, you know, like I said, there's, there's a lot more of us out there. And I think it just says a lot about how the community is growing outside of even YouTube because there's a lot more people who are interested in plants and uh, you know want to know more about them and I do think each and every single one of us uh, that's either on YouTube or on Instagram has something to share and uh, in their own unique way so I always uh, encourage uh, everyone if you got something to share and uh, you want to give it a try go for it uh, I think it's it's cool and uh, but yeah so a few questions with this truth or dare I think there's about seven uh, which I thought the questions were really cool and interesting and then a couple truth or dare that we're gonna play so without further ado uh, let's get this started so the drink I'm gonna drink with never have I ever um, because I'm actually on medication I'm on Accutane I'm not uh, allowed to drink alcohol so I'm actually drinking uh, emergency and water you know get that vitamin C uh, inside me but uh, yeah so I think the way the game works is if I've done it I always get confused with this game if I've done it I take a drink all right so first question is never have I ever took a plant cutting that was on the ground at a nursery um, no, I've never done it and partly because I usually don't see plant cuttings on the ground. Um, I'm sure maybe it's because some of you guys have beat me to it already. I don't know, but uh, uh, I, I've never done it. Uh, next question. Never have I ever bought a plant just because it was trending on Instagram. Um, I have done it. I think like most of us have. Uh, the one that comes to mind is I think the same one as like Sharina and many others is the Pilia Peperomiotis. 
which by the way has become one of my uh, uh, plants that I've raised as a tiny pup and has grown to be extremely massive and really big. I've had it for a couple of years. So it is uh, a very popular plant still to this day amongst a lot of uh, you know newcomers as well getting into plants. Uh, it is a beautiful plant. I, I don't you know I don't get the hate that this plant gets sometimes. Uh, yes, it was trending when you know we all first got it and you know it was I remember I like hunted for this plant. It was in the middle of winter and uh, I found it off Kijiji which is like similar to Craigslist here in Canada and um found a seller uh, that propagated it was so tiny i think i paid 60 bucks for it but uh, uh but yeah now it's it's to me it is a uh, priceless this plant now sorry right? so next question uh never wait i, I i'm supposed to drink to that one hold on <laughs> okay never have i ever met another plant tuber um i <laughs> I have, I guess Daryl, um, Daryl Kang from Houseplant Journal uh, is a plant tuber, but he doesn't really do as much videos when I first met him back then, but he just recently uh, started his channel up again, so uh, definitely check him out. Obviously, you know, he's uh, well known in the plant community, uh, huge following on Instagram and has a book out as well too, right? So uh, I have met him. Uh, okay, so next question. Never have I ever neglected a plant and purposely let it die a slow death. Um, yes, I have. And I think most of us have done this. And uh, you know what's unfortunate? It's, uh, it's the plant that, it was another one of those plants that I, I took care of as a tiny little plant. And it grew up to be so huge and so amazing and gets very popular on my Instagram feed. When I first posted it, it was uh, my spider plant that had a lot of babies. I shot a lot of babies. Um, unfortunately, I let it die a slow death because it was during the months where I went on a bit of a hiatus and uh, I knew it was root down. I knew it was already root down because it literally was in that pot for hitting almost three years, right? And and I just I just kind of just left it because I was distracted and I was occupied and I was, yeah, and unfortunately it's gone, it's dead. So, but I do have another baby spider plant that I'm starting to grow again uh, to that, that kind of beauty and size. It, it was a beauty. So I do regret uh, letting that one die a slow death. Um, next question. Never have I ever purchased a plant and then later regretted buying it. If so, what plant was it? Um, I've actually never regretted buying a plant. Um, there are times where I, I would buy a plant that I thought I wanted and, and I'd look at it and be like, yeah, you know, it's not that beautiful or that, you know, excited about it, but I never regretted it. So, uh, I, I, you know, I think, I think if you bought a plant, whether it's out of whim or just out of, you know, nowhere, uh, I think deep down there is a reason you bought it. Um, so, you know, for me, I just, it, I just never regretted buying a plant. <laughs> okay, next question. Never have I ever killed a rare plant. Um, I don't know if this plant is considered rare now, but at the time it was, it was a pink princess philodendron. I don't know what's up with that, that particular philodendron, but I could not keep it alive. I've killed maybe two of them. I, I tried it second time. I might try it for the third time, but I think I need to, um, uh, see if I can get this philodendron silver sword uh, thriving. If I can, then I will try uh, another pink princess. But uh, yeah, so I have killed a rare plant. Never have I ever bought a plant that was so large I can barely fit in my car. Um, it wasn't, yeah, I, I guess I could barely fit it, but it managed to fit in somehow without, uh, you know, damaging kind of the, the, you know, the interior of my car. But uh, I drive a little coupe, so it's like a two-door coupe, so it's fairly small in the, to begin with, but I remember I got myself a Japanese maple tree that I can have outdoors in a nice container, uh, an insulated container so that way it can survive in the winter. But it was a beautiful, beautiful tree. Unfortunately, the insulation that I had outside wasn't, um, you know, insulated enough for uh, for it to thrive and, and survive during the, the harsh winters here in Toronto. But um, but yeah, that, that plant, I remember, I, I think I attempted it maybe four different ways to see how I can make it fit in my car. It rode in the passenger side, I had to take this, fold the seats down and angle it so that way corner to corner it managed to fit end to end. But uh, yeah, so I, I have done that. Uh, okay, next question. Never have I ever showered with my plants. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, 
I have a pretty close relationship with my plants. I, I do. And, and you know, yeah, I may like, you know, have dinner with them sometimes or uh, read them a book, but uh, showering with your plants? <laughs> It's a little weird, I think, but uh, so no, I've never showered with my plants. Uh, next, next question. Never have I ever uh, went on a no plant buy and it was successful. Um, no, I've never done it. Uh, that's just silly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, even if I did, I don't think it would be successful, right? So for me, like, why, why put yourself through that that stress and that pain of uh, not getting the you know the plant you want or the next plant that comes out or or whatnot? So I've never I've never put myself on it. Uh, next question. Never have I ever deleted a mean or inappropriate comments on YouTube. Um, no, I've never done it. Uh, for the most part, I don't get really many uh, mean or inappropriate comments. You know, I get the odd ones here that's kind of making a pass at me. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it comes with the territory. You're going to get good, bad comments and you kind of just need to roll with it. You know, uh, you know, try not to let it get to you. Uh, but obviously, there's like, you know, really inappropriate comments. It just, you know, is just not cool uh, and not helping the community whatsoever then for sure I was encouraged I would you know take that down because I would do it as well too um, okay so the next question and last question for this never have I ever is never have I ever met some of my followers in person um, I have and it really uh, still surprises me you know sometimes it catches me off guard where I'm not even paying attention you know whether I'm standing in line at Starbucks or uh, at the gym and working out someone would like you know tap your shoulder or wave or say uh, and and it would always catch me off guard right? I'd be like oh hey what's up yeah and and whatnot but uh but when I attend like plant events I kind of expect I'm gonna bump into some of you guys, uh, which I, which has always uh, happened, and it's so cool, you know. Again, watching the community uh, grow, uh, you know, the last uh, couple of years for me, anyway, and I think it's been uh, it's been pretty cool, ama uh, amazing experience so far. Okay, so that is the never have I ever uh, plant tag challenge, and we're now gonna move on to the truth or dare. And there's about seven questions here, and then about like three dares. So I'm gonna go through each of the question, and uh, yeah. All right, guys. So first question: uh, What made you start creating YouTube? Um, so I would say probably the number one reason was to help kind of build my confidence and uh, my public speaking skills uh, because I knew like look we're all humans we don't like being judged we you know there's there's a fear of uh, you know when we put ourselves out there that people are gonna criticize us and I knew by putting myself out there uh, through YouTube or Instagram uh, I would face on that fear head on right because like i mentioned it comes with the territory that you're gonna get bad comments good comments you know criticize judge and so on and so forth that if i just face it head on um i would get over that fear and eventually i would just get over it and not care what other people think of me right and um yeah i remember the first few videos i posted and you know reading the comments were like some of the comments were like Ugh, you know <laughs> but uh no, uh, I I, I kind of got over it, uh, uh, and eventually it helped me in other aspects of my life in terms of confidence, whether it's in my professional uh, career at the office and how I kind of view myself and and whatnot. So. That's definitely one of the reasons and uh, I would say the other was I was curious of um, how the algorithms work uh, when it comes to a lot of the social platforms like Instagram or YouTube and uh, because my background or what I do professionally at my job is I've always done online marketing but traditional online marketing like you know uh, SEO, uh, paid search affiliate marketing and I've done it for you know 15 years but I've never really applied uh, a lot of that through kind of the social marketing aspect of it, you know, so I was curious how that stuff works. So I figured, you know, here's a, a, a kind of a couple ways that uh, I can, you know, hit two birds with one stone, learn something new and uh, build my confidence, right? So. Um, anyway, next question. Do you like your username? If not, what would you change it to? Um, yeah, you know, I, I like my, my username, Crazy Plant Guy. Uh, but when I actually started the YouTube channel, it was my first name and last name on it. And then I eventually changed to the Crazy Plant Guy because I think I started my YouTube channel first, uh, late 2017. And then I launched my uh, Instagram around like April 2018. And my Instagram was Crazy Plant Guy, right? And eventually my crazy, uh, the Instagram was kind of taking off a little bit uh, quicker than the YouTube one. Uh, so for me, I was kind of already building this Crazy Plant Guy brand. So I figured, you know what, let me update the, uh, the YouTube channel to Crazy Plant Guy. And the reason I originally had Christian on it and my, my last name is because when I first started my channel, it actually wasn't uh, purely about plants. It was a variety of things that I was interested in. 
um, and you know whether it was sneakers, uh, reaction videos, uh, plants, and for the first uh, you know few videos, it was a combination of that uh, because I really I, I just wasn't sure if I was because I have a lot of interests, right? And like all of us, do we have a lot of interests and. I wasn't sure if I, I wanted to stick in with one particular niche or not, so I kept it open. But eventually, you know, I fell out, out of love with sneakers and I fell more in love with plants. <laughs> it just kind of turned, turned into uh, the Crazy Plant Guy channel. But uh, anyway, so that, I don't think I would change the, the, the username at all. I, I like it. Next question. If you're given a chance to choose between free lunch or free plants, what would you pick? Free plants, come on. That is an easy one, uh, no questions. i rather starve and not eat for days as long as I get free plants. I'm just kidding, but uh, uh, I, I would definitely choose free plants. Okay, next question. If you were to ask to change your name into a plant, what would it be and why? Wow, I actually have never thought about this question yet. Uh, so, man, this one's tough. Um, and why? <laughs> uh, wow. I, I don't know, actually, let me ask you guys, what do you think is the plant name that is more fitting for me? Comment below and let me know because honestly, uh, I don't know, so um, I can't think of one, but uh, I'm curious to know what you guys think. For those of you guys who's gotten to know me either through this channel or on Instagram, I, I'm, I'm actually very curious and very interested now to read uh, some of your suggestions. Uh, but yeah, so those are all the questions from the truth or dare. Uh, the next one uh, is going to be the dare section. So uh, this one's gonna be uh, good or bad. We'll see, we'll find out. Dare number one. Do an impression of a YouTuber or plant tuber that you like or have watched. Um, <laughs> man, uh, hopefully uh, hopefully she doesn't kill me, but, but uh, I love this girl, I love her channel. Um, I don't know if I can do the accent, uh, we'll find out. Uh, Hello everybody, glad you can make it. My name's Kaylee Allen. <laughs> I did that one right. <laughs> Kaylee don't kill me, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I, I love I love her channel. She's got some, she specializes in rare plants. So um, uh, that is something that I just recently started getting to. So I like to watch, you know, obviously her, her tips. But uh, her production is really good too, man. It is good quality. So if you have not checked her out, definitely check her out. Okay, show me a weird thing that you can do. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit boring in, in that category. I got no weird thing that I can do. Um, I'm kind of, you know, I, I, I used to always say I may like a lot of things and I may try a lot of things like trying to play the freaking piano there or the saxophone, but I realized that I am pretty below average at many, many things and I am, uh, don't have any weird things that I can or can't do. Like I can't, you know, stick my tongue and make it touch my nose, or uh, you know, fold my thumb, you know, halfway <laughs> the side of my hand. None of that stuff, right? Um, but um, next one, uh, tag at least five or more other people to do this tag video. So, like I said, any, I actually wasn't even tagged to do this truth or dare. I really just wanted to uh, uh, do it because, like I said, I was watching a couple of uh, their videos, and uh, I really just wanted to give these guys a shout out as well. And I thought the questions were really interesting, and I wanted to play it myself. So, um, but yeah, so any of you guys can do this. And uh, uh, like I said, you know, so cool to watch this community grow. And even for those of you guys who uh, watch a lot of our videos, you know, I see a lot of uh, comments from, uh, you know, Holly and Elizabeth and uh, you know Plant Center uh, and all of you guys commenting on each of our videos I think it's great that you guys are continuing to support us so we really really appreciate it and uh, for those of you guys who may not be familiar with uh, all of the the plant tubers I mentioned I'll provide a link to all their channels below uh, definitely check them out and uh, give them you know uh, your views and your shout out and your appreciation for what they do because it is not easy to do this right it, it's, it's time-consuming but I know personally for me uh, and I and I can you know I can't speak for them, but I, I'm pretty sure they share the same sentiment. It's it's a lot of fun if there's a way for you to express and share your passion and your journey uh, through a creative way that is uh, obviously done through YouTube. And uh, yeah, just all of us here just sharing our houseplant <laughs> journey uh, in our own unique way, and each of us have something to offer. And um, for those of you guys, uh, my other fellow planters who I didn't have a chance to mention or give a shout out, uh, my apologies. I will uh, try and obviously include uh, you guys as well in the description below. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got to know a little bit more about me. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.